Here's some vintage enamel wear. Nice pot. Just a couple little uh, chips. Coffee pot. Great blue and white speckled. Clean inside. And then uh, a hand painted duck coffee cup. No chips. And it says uh, 1958 on the bottom. So definitely old. A couple pieces of clothing. North Face. Hooded sweatshirt. Men's small. It is used, but clean. And this is a brand new t-shirt. Yosemite, 1890, El Capitan Trail. It is a um, men's small. It has a nice image on the back. This is a new in the box aluminum mess kit, Coleman. It has five pieces. Four uh, MSR fuel bottles. Oh, this one's Primus. That is your MSR. We have a, um, it's an MSR expedition stove, the XKG. It is used, no pump. And then a uh, North Face, Old North Face with the brown label uh, stuff sack. Uh, Coleman, number zero filter funnel, copper. Wagner, number three skillet. Nice condition. And then two compasses. This one goes on the wrist, probably 1960s, made in Japan. Strap is in good condition. And this pocket compass, made in Germany. Uh, probably not real old. But it's a nice case. We have a number of uh, single burner stoves. Coleman 502. The date on the bottom is a little hard to read because it's printed small, but it is 566. That one will clean up. This one, very clean. It's a 502, but an early one, and the bottom is still marked 501, 862. Stove is still very clean. 440 dual fuel stove, little rust on the bottom. Date is one of 93. That rust will clean off. Otherwise, the stove looks to be in good shape. Very nice condition. It's a Feather 400 model 400B. You can see that. Very clean. Date on here is 12 of 93, and it has the box, uh, no literature in the box, a little damage there. And last is a um, 550B, date here is uh, 6 of 97, USA made, a little dirty, um, I think that'll still clean up does have the uh, padded bag with it. I just have two small lanterns this time. This is a 229. The date on here is um, nine of 93. Unfortunately, the nice globe is broken. It does have a globe wrap and the bag instructions and there are lots of mantles in there probably seven packs of mantles um, this one is propane has the box 
has a nice um, cross hatch picket fence globe. I don't see the date on here, uh, but these were in the 90s. And uh, I think there's one, one mantle in this there. This is a very clean camp oven. I believe this was made in the 1960s. Has seen very little use and uh, it will fold up flat. You have two mil spec lanterns. The first is a Coleman, 1967. Quad glass globe. Very nice vent. Paint is pretty good. No funnel. And um, there is a wrench that's in the parts well. This one is an SMP. They only had a painted vent. The date is 1981. And uh, it has a Coleman one-piece globe. No funnel, no wrench, only the pricker and a pump leather that are in the uh, parts well. This one has lost some paint, seen some use. More lanterns. This is the Sears, blue black, double mantle. Has a Coleman globe. It is very clean inside. The date on the bottom is 466. And again, it's very clean inside the tank. Just needs to be cleaned up on the outside. Couple little uh, dents on the vent. This is a Canadian Coleman 335. Not found in the US very often. They're very bright. They take a large 999 mantle. I believe this is the um, original style globe, number four globe. And the date stamp on the bottom, it is, um, let's see. It's two of 75. Again, it's clean inside. Very unusual to find one here in the US. And then this is a uh, Montgomery Ward's Western Field by Hawthorne. And it was Montgomery Ward's logo and their brand name. Actually, uh, it was made in Japan by Renai. You may know that. Um, there's the model number EKW9516-A. And uh, there's no date on these. I think they were uh, 1960s. And you can see there it was made in uh, Renai's Japan. And it does have a uh, Coleman globe in it. The vent is a little dirty, but I don't see any, uh, it's just dirt there. I don't see any chips. Very clean on top. Three AGM style single mantle lanterns. The first was uh, Sears, J.C. Higgins. Is their uh, brand name, Sears Roebuck and Company. I think this is probably 1960s, early 60s. It has some rust, has a Coleman globe. Um, pretty nice vent. It does have some uh, cosmetic issues. This one is the um, Camp Light LRL 21B. Again, Coleman Globe. Um, pretty good vent. It's dirty. I don't see any major chips. And uh, the bottom looks pretty good. Nice decal. The red paint, they clean up really nice. This, again, probably um, early 1960s. Maybe late 1950s. And then this is a... Um, AGM 3016. It is a brass fount, but it does not have any cracks. Um, there's the model. It's pretty good on the bottom. Coleman Globe. A few things on the vent. Um, but it looks like it could be made to work fairly easily.